Smite is back! Yes, after three long months, this weekend we finally got our first glimpse of the new look SPL rosters. Some teams impressed, some really didn't. There was one team who absolutely stole the show. Coming into the tournament, the real wildcard team was the only Warriors. I mean, this team just looks like a big rank lobby. So the big question hanging over them was, what was going to be their identity? How are they going to play on the day? Well, after this weekend, I think we have our answer. Uh, we're going to be watching the Warriors take on the Ravens. Now, Trelly, this one I'm really excited for, but it's this Warriors squad behind me that catches my eye. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe the most, because coming into the season, I do not know. I, we know every player on this team. I have no idea what they Voltron into. Well, we'll finally get the question answered here. We're going to jump into game number one, Warriors versus Ravens. It's J-Mac and Mifflin. Dream, fling on an SOT, body blocked away, dashes away from the tower and Is manages to get the blink just in time. SOT, narrow margins for him to make it out of there. Just absolutely dominant. And Barracuda. Dunks down on and nowhere for Barracuda to go. The beads were just 15 seconds away from coming back through, but uh -oh. Pagon versus Vanane who. Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. It's a, it's a tale as old as time as once again, Pagon gets another 1v1 against Vanane who feels like season nine all over again for the mids. Ben's thinking to himself, not again, not again, not again. Haddix caught by the wall, freezes there and all the damage in the world by Pagon. But Scream has already found a double kill and his full HP in this Fight. Look at that. Now being batted away by Netroid, the crits right through, and the solo troll will put him down. Haddock knocked up and knocked down. It is a near DSide only Barracuda left alive as the Oni Warriors only lose two. Panatom in. Three man. Panatom down in the back line. Barracuda with barely a sliver of HP left. Scream has the bubble, but the bubble's not going to get him through a wall. Hurry win. Almost down. Not quite. Needs a little bit of extra work from Jake. A Panatom in the sky. Pagon is dropped by Haddix, and Panatom will find the dunk off an Anu. The carry is down, but SOT bails out Panatom, taking out Barra. And now it is Jake and Panatom surging up with SOT. But Scream is doing a lot of damage. Double freeze on to Scream and Haddix. The Meyer comes through from Haddix. That's not enough to take out Panatom. The What's hero with shield? the rock kept him alive. And now Haddix falls down. It is a quadra kill for Panatom. And the Oni Warriors will take game number one. Really just felt like this is kind of a rank style of comp. Everybody just W King forward, finding those kills. It really was a W key game, it wasn't really it? It really just felt like it. Now with this lock-in, the Oni Warriors, Trelly, have done something that maybe the Dre Dragons of old have done, the sub 20 minute game. Yep. This is the kind of team that gets that pace. The bottom two for the Warriors, Bakasura and Hades. It is. Okay, Interesting. My... Game number two between the Oni Warriors and the Highland Ravens now kicking off. Pagon hit by the Typhoon, dueling dragons off the mark, Sold and Pagon him. turns it back around. And now it's Venenu in danger as Panatom will chase in, drops the ultimate, and Venenu's life. Two kills for the mid jungle huh? combo, and Netroid and Awesome Jake find one up against Barracuda. What? Well, was such a great turnaround for the Ravens has now turned sour as the Oni Warriors find three. I I couldn't even explain. Three levels up for Panatom on the Bakasura now in the jungle. Two for SOT as Did he's been maintaining swap? that. For some teams, we saw during what qualifiers. What is going on? Dream? Dead on the right side, a solo kill for Panatom. And SOT will get the ultimate out of Haddix. Jake around. Not a lot of tankiness to dive under this tier one. Of an A2 and Hurry Winter here. No Pagon way. solos out Barracuda. Pagon is just going on a solo mission to every member of the Ravens at this point. They're better at hitting their buttons, man. The Oni Warriors are just hitting their buttons better. They found the combo. It's the ranked all stars out here, bro. <laughs> Tune it to everybody. They're running and it everybody. down. Every, everywhere. They're just running it down. The lane swaps, the individual plays, Panatom's performance now in two games ha has just been perfect. Poor level lead. Worth noting, we haven't got to talk about this just oh. yet. If now Panatom kills Scream, he gains nothing. Scream is worthless <laughs> to this man. Dirt, not worth the time it would take to use an ability. Not worth the cooldowns. Ridiculous. What is happening this He's game? He's level 16. Okay, Scream's getting active. Oh, okay, Jake actually... Scream is on full tilt. Okay, Jake just killed Scream. And now Panatom just goes for more. This one's Vanane, worth it. Vanane is still worth something to Panatom. At least for a moment, jump off the mark. Doesn't mean it. misses. Aegis is He's expanded. too fast. Hurrywind is doing his best, but the dragons aren't there. Panatom's level 16, killing spree for him. The only warriors are just 
W King the entire map now. Panatom starting to upset me because he is challenging my fundamental view on MOBAs as a genre. I have so often said this is a, a game and genre that you cannot play and win on your own. He's actually clowning this guy! Go back to base and think about the errors of your ways, Scream! That wasn't even worth it for him! He did it to send a message! He gained nothing from that! In fact, Panatom lost. He gained a shield and he lost his ultimate. That was worth nothing. Scream, think about it, I guess. He's level 17 at 14 and a half minutes. j -Mac, the devs patched this out. We've removed leads from the game. There are comeback mechanics. Me. You can't kill them and gain anything anymore. And Panatom has simply spit on our design philosophy as a company and is doing it different. This guy moves different. He's seven from levels up. 10 to seven is a very deceptive. He can't kill anyone. It's worthless for him to kill anybody. New only gets out because Haddix is the ultimate body block He's there. Still going. Panatom finds the ult on the Benenu five in a row. For oh, they Panatom, got him. They got him. the shutdown is there! Scream benefits big now for the Highland Ravens. Was that two levels for Scream? And the Fire Giant. Five in a row for oh, they Panatom. Got they got the shutdown is there! Scream benefits big now for the Highland Ravens. Was that two levels for Scream? And the Fire Giant. Addicts though, goes to the back line, finds three, goes into Sense of Madness in the middle of four of them now. Peg on low. Pull back and scream, trying to do as much work as he can. But the knockup is there Panatom's by Haddock. But Panatom is just chopping away at the back line. But Anu lands so into a him. double kill for Panatom. Could very easily be a triple, if not for the slow coming from Hurry Wind's relics. That's so got it. Takes down one. Sock credit for that one. Hurry went down. Double for Net. Double for Panatom. DSI for the Warriors, and the set 2-0 to the Oni. This is a game that flies in the face of traditional smite knowledge. Flies in the face of 10-3, and I'm here for it. That's right, I got Jake the support for the Oni Warriors standing by to be here for pregame. Jake, talk to me a little bit about yesterday, because you come into this matchup, it, it's kind of a, as I like to describe it, as a Frankenstein's monster of a team, a bunch of individual players up. from a bunch of different teams kind of forming your squad now, going up against a fairly established Highland Ravens roster, now going up against defending world champions in the Camelot Kings. How do you feel for you and your team going into this matchup? I'm feeling great. I got some uh, cold-blooded killers on my team. Oh, yeah? And um, <laughs> we're looking to make this match a, a bloodbath. All right. Talk to me a little bit about your new dual lane partner, though. Now having Netroid over into your lane, how does that kind of maybe shake up the dynamic of your lane specifically? Uh, you know, Netroid's a young goat. Um, he's been training, uh, you know, for, for years now. And, um, <laughs> yeah, we've come together, and we've made something beautiful in the dual lane. And we're looking to, um, to uh, own. <laughs> It's game number one, and it's J Mac and Trelly. 3v2, but here comes Awesome Jake. Jake plucks two with the ultimate. Just off the mark from grabbing Genex, but he goes back in. Now it's a 3v3. Captain Twig's already used the ult. Big Man Tinks is here, and Captain Twig is nearly gone. Pagon will take him out, and BMT up in the house, being run at by three. Pagon finds the double kill Oop. by Genetics, and a jump in by Jake. The Typhoons are massive. Yark. Barely lives through, gets his shield back up. Big Man Tinks fights, triple pull by Jake. Sets up the damage for Netroid. That's a double for the carry of the Oni Warriors. Genetics on the run, found a massive start to that team fight, but it has been all down since then as a Netroid triple kill closes out the fight. Hey, Tom and Captain Twig both had the opportunity to get aggressive. Variety's getting real low. Let's get the pull back, but SOT lacking the damage. Stunned by Captain Twig. Or the dash gets silenced out. SOT saves his own life this time around. Genetics even expending his ultimate, but now he just may have stepped a little too far forward. Does get the first dash. We use the monolith to avoid the knockup after oh. the slows are just too much. And it'll be a kill now for the Oni Warriors. Our first blood to by Captain Twig, but the cavalry has arrived. The Oni Warriors, four strong, will lock down Captain Twig and make it two. For the Warriors. Right, he's gonna take some damage here as well, but looks like the beads. Oh, that's so enough what? damage? What? What? That Jumarb is hitting a little different. Jake finds another kill. Captain Twig comes over. Does he have the damage take down SOT? One more fear and Will he's dead. Will be able to get away. Captain Twig blinks over, misses the dash though, but not enough damage for SOT. Maybe Panatom can close this one out. The pull is enough damage. And it's now a 5-0 and o Oni Warrior up over the Camelot Kings. Pagon gets pulled back in. Will Captain Twig go for the greedy kill? No, the blink past him. Pagon lives. 
for only a moment. Does go down. The first kill for the Kings, but it's eight on the board for the Oni Warriors. Jake and Netroy crash in. Yarkor trying to run away. The slow connects, but Genetics is here. Dax is the stone wall. Variety has found the turnaround solo, but it's traded out by Son into the tower. Look at him laughing. Shirley, what is, <laughs> Shirley, what is happening this game? And Pantom's going in. Pantom finds the Typhoon, and that's enough damage to kill Captain Twig. They're gonna fight this. Just barely gets Pagon in. That's three crushing wave obliterates two of the Camelot Kings in an instant. And the Oni Warriors. Now 13 kills up. Oh, but that's so much damage. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. You just. He's a full item down. Phantom's got no fear of that 1v1 ever. It's just genetics in the middle of the Pillar of Agony. Variety drop back in. SOT lives through. And Phantom cleans them up. That's three off the map. In the blink of an eye, Big Man Ting's stun. Beads are gone. Phantom goes in. That's a double for the Susano. The only Yarkor left alive to defend against all five members. Silenced out the knock up the water hands. It's a DSI for the Warriors and a game two win to tie up the set. How do you break that one down? They just won early. Yeah. They won mid, and, they, and it never made it to late. Will the Warriors take the lead, or will the Kings push themselves ahead? We'll find out in game number three. Captain Twig goes in the sky, although he ate quite a lot of damage inside the Fire Giant pit. Dunks on top of Jake, finds He's a stuck. near full combo, but Pagon with the turnaround takes down two. That's a double for the Hub Wob. Pagon is huge. Captain Twig now. In the sky, Genex is about to die to the Fire Giant, but the Kings do manage to get it. Jake has used his ultimate. Captain Twig lands on top of Pagan, the crushing wave nearly takes out Captain Twig, but Yark takes him out. It's a one for one. Awesome Jake still alive throughout all, but SOT holds on to three inside the Pillar of Agony, gets a double of his own, and Panatom picks up one more, throws him to the walls of Awesome Jake, and Panatom picks up one of his own, a three for one trade, and only Variety left with fire. Yeah, but Variety's in trouble. He's targeted, but he didn't lose as much HP as he as they were hoping. Genex barely makes that, but Pagon instantly double kills, finds the triple, and Panatom will grab one more. In the blink of an eye, this game has completely ended. It's a full house for the Oni Warriors carries. A D aside at the end, and game number three, just like that. The Oni Warriors, they win game number three. They bring themselves to a 2-1 lead and are now one game away from moving to the grand finals of our kickoff tournament. Can they close it out? Will the Kings bring it back for a tie? We'll find out in game number four. And this Hebo for Pagon, probably the biggest threat on the map right yeah. now. Can't be let through. The the individual plays that he's able to put out, the positioning, the free casting, it was just too much. And when he's casting like that, what you just saw on your screen, he's going to win every single game. The Oni Warriors are one game away from moving on to Grand Final Sundays. If they want to go and meet the Jade Dragons to fight up in for our final match of the kickoff tournament. Pagon finds Variety, who gets caught out, He's makes gone. it up into the Colossal Fury, but only to fall right back down. SOT gonna start the pull here. They've got good shred, they've got Merlin. It's gonna be a 50-50, Genetics and Tigs are only ones here. But Genetics does have a Runic Bomb to try and take this one away. The only Warriors get the fire, Genetics might just go down. Does manage to get the swing up. Goes around the wall, Panatom chased him out. SOT finds a stun of Variety who is dying to the damage of the Merlin. You need some magic defense to deal with Pagon. And now it's Yarkor almost down. Big Man Tings and Yarkor, both Aegises, expended to get away, but Panatom and the Oni Warriors charge in. And now the Fire Giant has Whoa. begun. It's already half health. Half HP. Jake tries to go in. Fear and Weevil used, but Warriors only Warriors will steal it away. Was that the Typhoon from Panatom? Does not matter, Solar Troll to the back line, takes out Captain Twig, and it was Panatom to steal the fire, and maybe even steal the show. Where will Genetics fall down? It's in the middle of three old blocks off the path, but it seals his own doom. The Oni Warriors steal the fire and take down two. The Phoenix is melting at the might of the Warriors. SOT and Panatom going, Yark is gone, Variety is gone, Big Man Tings, the only one left. All the carries have there beads. Pagon stun, he'll use the beads immediately. Aegis as well, but Panatom has dealt with BMT in the back line. And when Twig lands back in, it's into the clutches of SOT, who finds the stun and Netrio and finds the crit. They're gonna go for this. They're walking over a ward. 100% they are walking over a ward. And it looks like they're committing. They have no idea. The Camelot Kings are here. SOT is so far away. It's over 20 seconds until anybody's back. The 3v4 variety is dying. There's no chance he lives against Pagon, who's been an absolute menace against the Camelot Kings. 
Genetics being funneled away from his team. Snipes from your core don't do much as Pagon is just melting through these tanks. Genetics and Variety both gone. Hannah Tom can make his way around the back of the fight and might just do so he here. He just missed the ward. Because nobody has noticed he's back there. Yarkor just now spots him, but to pull in, the crits are not enough. Panatom has found a solo kill. A variety is nearly gone. Pagon has been doing so much damage to these tanks. They just cannot stand up to the might of the mid lane menace of the Oni Warriors. It's another kill for Pagon. He stays alive with Panatom. Genetics throws out the ult, but it's too little, too late. Double kill for Pagon. The Oni Warriors have knocked down the reigning world champs to move on to the grand finals of the kickoff tournament. They're just playing lights out. The Oni Warriors started feeling real different in game number two. Insane turnaround here by the Oni Warriors. Maybe not the expected team to be the ones to take down the Camlock. This is a team that won Worlds two months ago, Trelly. The Oni Warriors move on to the grand finals of the SPL kickoff tournament. Another best of five. This time up against the Jade Dragons for their final opponent. That's it for me and Charlie on the cast. We'll throw it to the desk to break it down. Yeah, Pagon mid laner for the Oni Warriors. Nearly said Jade Dragons, but I caught myself. Oni Warriors. We talked to Sai yesterday after your win. He told us that he feels like this meta just kind of caters to you guys and your play style. Do you agree with that? And uh, yeah. in what ways do you think the I meta? I just think all of us can play like pretty much every character. So like we can always just play whatever's good. I think we'll be good in pretty much every meta. We just want to win to win. You know, sure. a big grudge match today. That's right, yeah, you go, what, against Mike, Mike specifically? Replace me with Dardos. <laughs> well, we're going to get to talk to Mike here in a moment. Uh, do you have words you want me to share with Mike? You can say anything you want, and then you get to run away, and I get to be the one to deliver him words. Do you have anything for Mike? You can say no if you don't have anything. I got to win first, then I can talk. All right, all right, <laughs> yeah, it's smart, smart game plan. Look, you guys have been doing a lot mm -hmm. of winning. Excited to see what the Oni Warriors get done with this year. PBM himself standing by with Dave for an interview. Yeah, I was hoping there'd be a little trash talk to relay to you. Your previous teammate, Pagon, he was in here. I said, do you have anything to say to Mike? You can you can scurry away, and I'm going to be the one to deliver the news. And he said he's going to let his gameplay do the talking first and then see right. what happens after that. Do yeah. you have anything for Pagon? You know, Daniel's like a, a little baby bird, you know, that we carried <laughs> uh -huh. in the nest last year. And we let the egg fall out of the nest, you know. Oh, and no. that, that one was on <laughs> me. You know, the egg cracked a little bit. But now, you know, it's nice to see that he's healed up. He's ready to fly. Uh, Daniel's my goat. I love That's that right. little guy. That being said, uh, that whole team is just absolutely running it down. Uh -huh. So I cannot wait to play streamed ranked. This yeah. is going to be awesome. Can it get things done here in game number one? It's the Warriors, it's the Dragons, and it's Dave and Mifflin. And it's the SPL kickoff tournament finals. We'll find ourselves a first seed and a first team in one of our two divisions for phase one. I think the Oni Warriors surprising a lot of teams here this weekend. Maybe not themselves. I think this is a team that figured had the ability to make it here. And I don't think anyone ever doubted their talent, right? I actually think the conversation was always this is one of the most mechanically smite talented teams in the league. But what was the identity going to be? Well, their identity seems to have worked and they find themselves here in a best of five grand final. Something like the Thoth here, Myth. The conversation often around where's the setup? We, we, we trust Pagon to hit. Final judgment. Uh, dashing forward, though. Maybe I didn't even expect it. He's got Panatom here. He's stuck to him. Ultimate is out, and Lazbra sent back by Panatom, and Pagon has the last bit of damage. And wouldn't you guess it? Pagon plus Panatom equals first blood. A recipe for success in the Oni Warriors on their right side invade. Sonic Boom, that catches Nika, another final judgment. And it's this time, a kill for Panatom. Potentially, Mike gets in trouble. This is exactly what happened to Mike just a few moments ago. He gets polymorphed, unable to get into the Riptide. Is this allowed? It is. Are they happened. that much better? I know, it's, it's, look, knew this team was gonna be good mechanically. I, I still can't believe just how good this Oni Warriors team is doing in their shot calling department. They've got it figured out. Pagon slips by, forced to use the beads, but SOT's got the flank. This might be a reinitiation call, Dave. Where's the final judgment go? That's gonna be most of your uh, damage stuck. here. Mike takes all of it, and SOT notches the kill. Wasn't a 15 minute FG, but it is a 16 minute fire giant frenzy used by the Oni Warriors. They have Just two Mike. Pyromancer bombs. If Awesome Jake wants to use them here, Mike steps forward, no but way. he's into the Pillars of Agony, and the Oni Warriors will get the FG. It's a double detonation from Awesome Jake to grab the objective and a kill onto Mike as well. Oni Warriors, they have kept their foot pressed. They'll get Fire Giant and all five members. Mike again? Uh, Mike wishes he had beads. <laughs> I'm not sure anything 
saves the Jade Dragons from, from the pit that they're in right now. Pagan, Netroid, Jake, three-man the Fire Giant. An opportunity for a pick, though, onto SOT. He'll get stunned down by Vote. has beads. Half of his health is missing. He's in some trouble here, but watch the Oni Warriors run down the right side of the no map. way! Oh, it's devastating for Lasbra! And now oh, Panatom no. is here, and he might 2v1 as well. Oh, man. Where did the Jade Dragons go from here? Game two. It's starting to feel like it, isn't it? <laughs> Both decision making here for the Jade Dragons. Dardes and Vote just, He's just clipped him out. down. Final judgment nearly deletes Vote, and there's your opening. River's review gets up from Mike. And the left side, Phoenix, an afterthought now. It's just one final judgment sends back the defense. I calculated a big statement to win like this here in Good game number Lord. one. Polar Bear Mike taken down by Pagan and a Both final run. judgment. Hits a couple. And now the only warrior sensing an opening for a game end. Lasbra up and down off the Palau. Where's Jake gonna take his team? Just over to the right. Sada's not even going back. Doesn't have teleport, but wants to be around for the rest of his team. Titan down to half. Burning. What a statement this is from the Oni Warriors who have dominated game one and will find the opening win. Just blitzkrieg by the Oni Warriors here. Well, pagan has been doing the solo kill thing since he joined the league just last year. Uh-oh. Could it be a first blood? Oh, it's terrible start for the J Dragons. Netrioid goes in on Vote. Dual lane, though, what a different happening? story. Vote is just getting caught off guard here. Jake hits a tether. Mike just in range for the uh -oh. body box, but Jake might just get it done anyway. Vote gallops away, frenzy used by Mike once more, but now he's under threat of maybe dropping as uh -oh, well. Uh -oh. Another root no out way, from Nets. Jake. Net dashes forward, Jake gets the kill. That tells you what type of game the only warriors are playing here. We're dashing under the tier one tower at three minutes. Nunks in front of PBM, still has the hammer, should be able to make his way out. Oh, maybe a reinitiation. Oh, the what? wall and the stun and the hammer and all of it connects with Lasbra. Pagon's here as well, water hands are through. Where's the crushing wave? Will he use it? Dardes back behind Look the bastion. Mike. Mike low. Jake a double kill. Maybe a third around the corner. But again, we're underneath the tier one tower. A double kill for Netrioid. And the only warriors rally on left. They'll pick up four. Get That's where get something hard. done here. No Should mana. be able to. No mana. No, he's got a both. Get a pull in. He's got a boot in place. He's got a, oh, he's got them okay. both. He's got them both. Okay. He's got them both. We can breathe. We can take a breather after a 17 kill. <laughs> Eight and a half minutes of game two. Only Warriors have found their openings. Could be a fight though. Dardes rotating over from mid. Walls up from Mike. No one He's in stuck. range to get stunned. Pig on. Well, crushing wave forward. The oh, but Panatom nearly saves the life of his mid laner. Wonder how worth it Dardes is because the wall is perfect. Down to the pixel from Panatom. He wouldn't. Yeah, but Miff, he, he would. He, he would. Don't I think do he, it. <laughs> I think he might. He tried. He does go forward. Have I missed this? Pagon forgoes beads in first slot. Actually has blink. 0 oh, and 4, so I can't say he hasn't been punished, but a level up on Tardes nonetheless. <laughs> what do you do? You can't kill him. This it makes him stronger. This is a fun team to watch. This Oni Warrior squad. Probably not a fun team to play against. Boat's in trouble. Boat's in trouble And, and would you guess it? An Oni Fury. He'll be up here in the next 10 or so seconds. Vote will go down. He's dead, dead. Who gets the kill? Panatom grabs it. Nika receiving a gank. It's SOT who's going to drop. Maybe for the third time this game. No, he'll, he'll live. But lasbro has got some chase down. Up and over goes Nika. Back. You're spending so much. What? Shot. Oh, he my God. Him. It's unfair. He turns around the two for one. The J it's Dragons the can't buy a win in game two. He's doing it to him, and an Oni Fury on left. Sot was 0-2. That is Lasbro at 5-1 with a 2-0 Surter, and it does not matter. The Masterminds, they are rolling in your best of five grand finals. Oni Warriors have made the left side of the map a, a, a wasteland, a graveyard this game. Ten affected kills for Jake, eight affected for Netrioid. That's 2-5 and five on both. Pyromancer now down as well. Mike's in some trouble. This this might be, you're talking last-ditch effort here Watch Panny. from the Jade Dragons. You can't afford to handily lose this fight. Is Nika going back through? He is. Got to get a kill on a Netrioid, and he's unable to do so. Net lives. Lasbro doesn't get the kill either. The only Warriors rally around their AD carry. Nika's pulled back, shoved back once more. One shot. Primal Fury is low. Centaurus has already been used here. Where's Panatom going to go? Might dunk down on a Nika. Sure does. Hello. Goodbye. He had Jake with him? All at once. And Jake was with Panatom 
and the Anvil of Dawn works perfectly. Polar Bear Mike walled off it on the wrong side of things his vote. Door stuck. Lazbra sends through a Typhoon, hits three, but ask him if it matters. It doesn't. Your answer, Pagon, double kill in this fight. We're still chasing. It's bad to worse. He'll do so now. Middle burst and nearly a kill on Tanika. Ultimates fly. Panasom's up. Yeah, but the J Dragon's got to be he careful. Here. One. You could lose the game if you lose this fight. Typhoon okay. helps out. And it's Dardes with the kill on the Pagon. And maybe some siege damage still there for the Oni Warriors, but two birds down. An extra pick as well. Lasbra. The silence. Silenced out by Jake. That feels terrible. You can't speak. For Lasbra, Natrio in a double. He wants it on the fun as well. And how about this Oni Warriors team? Stop! I have diffed the J Dragons at every turn in game two. And it's one more for Panatom. And a wave goodbye to game two. And Oni Warriors will take a 2 0 lead. No. Simply be silent, my friend. Locks them down and, and that's prepare. up. He's wagging his feet. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if. You know, junglers, you got you got Pentatom on the Bakasura. He wouldn't. Susano, he would. dash in from Dardes, and we'll fight in mid. Lasbro gets first blood. Pentatom, a chance to answer back. Needs one more auto. Oh, the up is. down gets it. But he's dead, though. But right? Lasbro, he's not dead. Doesn't have the cooldowns, won't go back in. <laughs> one for one in mid. Pentatom's in trouble. Typhoon will get the knockup. Pagon rotates out of he's mid. Pentatom will no, live this he's time. Dead. He's, dead. he's dead. Nico with one last auto has it, but Pagon. Wreaking havoc in the back line. Solo or Troll takes what would have been a double kill for Pagon. Double silence from Netroid actually keeps this fight interesting. Dodges out. No way. The damage from Mike. And Net's been on one today. Nearly turns a two versus one, but pedatom has got the rest of the damage. Vote will have to dash away this after it's all. How about that for standing your ground? And how about this from the Oni Warriors? It's an eight and a half minute Gold Fury pull. Sure is. lasper has been all over the place this game. Dart has silenced. Dive on Sot left. has Crushing Wave, uses it. No Aegis for Dardes at this point in the game. Beads aren't going to help you, but there is a dive happening on left, That's and it one. looks good. Okay, so we've officially reached our two kills a minute threshold here between the Oni Warriors and the Dragons. Good luck keeping up with that. It's just this willingness from the Oni Warriors to forego standard smite conventions. Uh, mid laners stay in mid, duo laners stay in duo, solos and solo, right? That's not the case when the Oni Warriors are playing. They're everywhere on the map all the time. It, I, I have to imagine throughout this set so far, the Jade Dragons communications have been rife with, why is X here? That gives Pagon some comfort to dash in towards Vote. He leaves beneath his tier one tower. <laughs> We're diving. What We're up? diving. Vote doesn't have beads, does have ultimate. Panatom, easy enough. It's Oni Fury pulled now. It'll be a five versus five. Jake is low. Has be an to die here. Kill. He won't for now. Okay. And up and over the wall he goes. Fury though. But yes, Fury given back to the Jade Dragons helps salve the wounds just a bit. No, that's a massive win for the Jade Dragons there, and potentially some more if Netroid isn't aware of the three chasing him. Yeah. Dodges out. No. <laughs> the shotgun blast <laughs> couldn't hit any of it. Oh, it didn't work. No, one now no Nika. not Nika. Use the Aegis. Sot. Some trouble. Saw it. No, he's dead. Crushing he's dead. wave away, and Lasbra again, who's fallen behind but been able to fight effectively in on the rest of the fight. But Panatom His turn. has filled up the tank, and he's pressing down the gas. Double kill on the Bakasura. When the J Dragons think they get this great opening, this great opportunity. It's Panatom who's right there on the answer. But well, we should, should, operative word, should. There's a lot of things we should be action. doing, right? We should see a lull in action here. There's not much to fight over. Fire Giant, Has that been sure. an issue, though? Oh, we're just going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are at 16 and a half minutes. The Only boys Warriors see it. pull the FG. Limits a bit of the fighting, but that just means Pagan, or Panatom's going to come in later. Nico. Uh oh Goodbye, Aegis. And goodbye, Chernobyl. I guess OT's finished off the kill. <laughs> With a blink of the eye, the J Dragons have lost everyone but Lazbra and Dardes. Three versus four, they still keep pushing? Yeah, why not? Metroid, Jake, they'll go ahead and pull tier two tower. They'll get it. But the chase is on. Frenzy's oh, been in. used. Oh, this SOT's could be big. Here. The water hand's big. And an Aegis needed by vote. Netroids turn the tables on Nika. And now it is down to a three oh. versus three water spout. He's three. still walking at him. Water spout. Come water here. Hands. 
We're diving a Phoenix. We're diving a Phoenix. No, no, oh, what do? Oh my God, Sot does end up trading out. It's effectively a showcase every time we've seen the Oni Warriors play this weekend. But that said, this is where you do have to sometimes be oh. careful. Oh no. When you do too much. He's done too much, Dave. Yeah, but look oh, how, he's taunting him. Look how cautious they are crushing wave. Good back lord. Forward. Double kill for lads, bro. He's got three kills <laughs> in the last few minutes. <laughs> no, they can't. They can't. They Yo, can't. Sot's going to buy so much time. Let's just they do can't. fire. They can't. Can they now? Siege with fire. Doesn't seem like it. Pretty good ult there from Jake. The respawns back through. Only warriors. They want to fight. What hit him? Pagan skewer, maybe. I'm not sure. Does have blue stone. Maybe the last bit of that upgraded blue stone. Delta damage to Dardes. <laughs> Nika buying Ooh, his good time, Agus. and Is actually he out? plays it well. Nika turning the damage, but nuts. SOT back into the fight. Double pull in from Lazbro, but Pagon reinitiates oh, triple three. backup from SOT. Vote turns around some damage, and Vote will get a double before dropping. And Netria, the AD carry on the other side, has one of his own. And a two for four trade leaves Lazbro last alive on the map. You win this kickoff tournament. After what all the pundits were saying about this team. <laughs> Coming into this weekend, Pinatom on his own. That'd be that a could great be massive. pick for the Jade Dragons, and it is, and they get out cleanly as well. Now a five versus four. Hasn't worried the Oni Warriors much throughout this set, a 5v4. But for now, you do need to think twice. Again, a solo mission. Maybe a bit of a bad decision from the Oni Warriors. Vote. No way. Caught in place. Eek is by some soon and completely mitigates the crushing wave from SOT. But Pagon from around the wall on the right. What is Netrio happening? Wraps around to the left. And this team pincers the Jade Dragons. One you man have got to Simply doesn't matter. Pagon dropped a quad on the world stage and might have three for the Jade Dragons here in game three. And that was without. Like Crushing Wave doing anything. Crushing Wave went straight into a wall in an Aegis. Could have been a lot worse, <laughs> somehow. This has been incredible. They wouldn't. From the Oni Warriors, a ridiculous breakneck play style has caught the Dragons they off guard siege. in game two and, and even more so in game three. Just waiting for Pagon to make his way back onto the map. Nine and five. It's for happening Pagon. so fast. Mike uses the frenzy and awesome Jake, the support in the kill column. He had beads. For the first time. In game three, Sot levels Dardes. He had beats an Aegis. And the mid Phoenix falls in suit. Now two fire minion waves will be working against the base of the dragons. To be honest, I think the Oni Warriors need like need to lose Jake here. Four has been the magic number. There he goes. If you got four team members on map. That's when the Oni Warriors have been winning all of their fights. Dude, the Warriors are They're yucking laughing. it up. They're they are guffaw. That's not a laugh. SOT threw his head back like a <laughs> villain. <laughs> Are you they are guffawing at the Jade Dragons right now. We're not strong enough to perceive the strategies on screen, all right? We, we are we're watching masters at work. This won't be properly appreciated in the Oni Warriors lifetimes. This is going to be studied by by war historians hundreds of years down the line. Sot has 32,000 damage at the 33 minute mark. 1,000 damage Whoa! feels fine. Uh, I'll add a thousand damage with my water hands, please. And it looks like it's working out. Pagon, Jake, and the boys following up on their solo laner. Netrioid lives. Sots on a killing spree. And it's been a master class of fighting and mechanics from the Oni Warriors all day long. Oh, the Darnes will give a double over to Pagon, and I'm not sure fire even matters. They're considering it. They'll do it. They might have time to end the game after. Yeah, this is just to heal up. They're, they're doing Fire Giant to resustain. To sustain. They, oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do it, Sod. Let Lazra. Let my man live. Let him live for a second. 2,000 damage. That's, a, that's game, by the way. The Oni Warriors, they've made a statement. They've put their foot down, and they've 3 0 the J-Dragons in the Smite Pro League kickoff tournament finals. They will select first during our draft show later on today. We were not sure how this team would look, and they've looked incredible all weekend long. It's just been a difference in, in what feels like every lane all day today. I feel like it's almost a generational <laughs> shift shakes. in Smite. Yeah. yeah, good work, fella. Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, yeah, that's really good work, yeah. This is it. This is the new guard, it would seem. I mean, that is crazy. Worth noting, kickoff tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's something left in the take for her. Some of the older guys in the league, but this is a team of, of young guys, relatively new to the Smite Pro League, uh, as opposed to some of the contemporaries on the other side. And 
They look good. Is it the season of the Oni Warriors? For now, it is. Oni Warriors 3-0, the J Dragons, in the Smite Pro League kickoff tournament grand finals. That's it from If and I on the desk. We'll take it from here. Next Two five-man five invades that result in one deicide within the, the, before the timer even hits zero? <laughs> Are we even playing Smite? Did you see Pagon pull Jake over just to get the flex on camera? <laughs> he said, wait, the camera's on. Get over here. Look, and he yanked him over.